Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I'm someone that's always looking for good skincare products. Um, I love using moisturizers and serums and, and I always am looking for that next best thing or that new thing that I love that I want to add into my skincare routine. So that's why I went out and I bought the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream uh, by First Aid Beauty. And I have been trying this for about a month now. I've used it in my morning skincare routine and my evening skincare routine. And I just wanted to see how my skin reacted to it, how my skin felt after using it for some time, so about a month, and how it set up my skin for makeup, because that's really important to me. I think a good moisturizer should really help set up your skin for a good makeup application. So makeup sits nicely on the skin, it blends nicely into the skin, and doesn't leave any dry patches. So, after trying it out for a month, I am now ready to give you my thoughts and uh, my review on this product. So if you want to see that, keep watching. So before we go into the review, let's just go through some of the claims that this product has. So it claims that it is a luxurious cream that hydrates and helps visibly firm skin. It contains collagen, peptides, niacinamides to help support and smooth skin, making it look more plump. Um, healthy and younger and making fine lines appear less visible. So let's talk about collagen. Collagen is a protein that is naturally produced uh, by our bodies and it helps uh, keep our skin youthful and plump and it gives it that elasticity and that bounce. So as we age, our collagen production starts to decrease. So we start to see that our skin begins to sag and we start noticing that we lose that elasticity and we start seeing fine lines and wrinkles. Now, based on some of the research out there, um, applying collagen topically to your skin via moisturizer, uh, so having collagen as an ingredient in your moisturizer is not really going to do much for your skin other than just really moisturize your skin. So this is because the molecules, the collagen molecules are too large to penetrate the top layer of your skin. So you're not really seeing much benefit from it. Now, if you wanted to uh, help increase your collagen production, I would strongly recommend a retinol or a retinoid. So I did a video on my experience with retinol. I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check it out. Another option would be a vitamin C serum. So something by Drunk Elephant or SkinCeuticals, they have really good, uh, they have really good vitamin C serums. So that would also be really good to help with collagen production. But just having it in a moisturizer, and applying it topically won't really give you the same effects. So now moving on to peptides. Peptides are amino acids that act as building blocks for proteins like collagen and keratin, just to give a couple of examples. And in turn, these proteins, like I mentioned earlier, help keep skin plump and firm and really help with that skin texture. So when you apply a product that has uh, peptides in it to your skin, it will make your skin look more plump. And in turn, it will make the signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles, look a bit less visible because when your skin is plump, those look less apparent. So having said that, just remember that there's no miracle product out there. Uh, this is not a miracle ingredient and it, it does help make your skin look better, but it's not going to completely reverse the signs of aging. So it's really important when going out there and buying these products that there's no miracle products out there. We all age, we just have to try to, you know, take the precautionary steps to try to slow it down and do our best as much as possible. And sunblock is the number one thing in my opinion, to help with that. So the last ingredient before I move into the review um, is niacinamide. I just wanted to touch on this quickly to guide, just to kind of give you an idea of what it does, high level. So um, niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3 and what it usually does, it helps improve uh, skin texture, helps with uh, pigmentation, and it also helps visibly reduce the size of your pores. Um, now this is because it helps clean out your pores. So anytime um, your pores get cleaned out, they do visibly look smaller because there's no debris in them. Because when they're full of junk and debris, you know, they're really noticeable and you can really see them. But once they're cleaned out, they do look smaller. Now, that's not to say that it actually shrinks the size of your pores. It is extremely difficult to shrink the size of your pores. Um, but I don't know of a product out there that does it, but it does clean out your pores. Um, so that does help with making them look smaller. 
it also niacinamide also uh, helps hydrate your skin and helps brighten your skin which i really like so i think it's a great little ingredient to have in your skincare routine so now for my thoughts on this product so before we get into that i just wanted to show you so it comes in this 50 milliliter jar the jar is actually quite heavy um and you can tell i've been using it for a while um and uh this was $55 at Sephora, Canadian dollars. Um, I did really enjoy this this moisturizer overall. Um, it worked really well with my skin. Um, it didn't break me out. By no means is this moisturizer replacing my still favorite Skin Fix Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. That is the best cream in my opinion to date and my favorite. But this comes a close second. I'll tell you why. So this cream has a really thin and watery texture to it. And when you put it on your skin, it feels very wet. Like as you start spreading it onto your face, it starts to feel really wet. So less creamy, but more wet. And it does feel like it's hydrating your skin. So I really like that. The thing that's different about this cream than other moisturizer I've used is that my skin, the finish, once I've blended it into my skin, is matte. So when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh no, my skin's matte, it's going to be dry. But when I touch it, it feels very hydrated and very moisturized. So I really, really like that about this cream, especially in the summer months um, when you need a lighter moisturizer and you need your makeup to kind of perform better in the heat. This moisturizer really helps with that. So I just wanted to show you how it looks on the back of my skin. I just took a little bit here and when I blend it, it automatically starts to feel very hydrating and very more wet than creamy and thick, but it still has a very luxurious feel to it. So once it's blended in, it does not look greasy. It just has a really nice finish. So this moisturizer, did set my skin up beautifully for makeup application. I used it with tinted moisturizers, um, matte foundations, and a powder moisturizer, and the application was beautiful. Um, even with a powder foundation, um, when I applied it to my skin, I thought that it would feel super dry, and it did not. My skin still felt very plump, very moisturized. So I really like that. And it does work well with makeup. Like it does keep your makeup, uh, it does work well with your makeup to make it last throughout the day without giving it that super greasy look as the day progresses. For a moisturizer to perform well in my books, there's three things it needs to hit. One, it needs to blend really well into the skin. So I don't want it to sit on top of the skin. I want it to blend really nicely into my skin. Two, um, I wanted to help my skin hold on to moisture throughout the day or overnight. If I'm using it as an overnight moisturizer, I want to wake up the next day and I want my skin to still feel hydrated and moisturized. I don't want it to feel dry. Um, and then number three, I needed to set my skin up for makeup application well. So I need my moisturizer to act with my foundation and help blend that foundation to my skin and give it a skin-like look as opposed to, you know, patchy or having like dry areas. So I need that moisturizer to work with my skin and my foundation. So if I had to rate those three out of five for this moisturizer, um, I would give it for the first one for if it gets absorbed into the skin really well, I would give that a five out of five for um how for number two how it helps my skin hold on to moisture throughout the day or night i would give that a four out of five and that's because there were times in the morning where i would wake up and my skin would feel more on the dry side um so during the day i didn't have that issue but at night there were times where i wake up and i'm like mm, it's a bit dry um and then for the last one if it sets my skin up for makeup application i would give that a five out of five loved how this work this moisturizer works with your skin and your makeup to make sure that it lasts and it looks really nice so that is my rating for my three categories that i need in a moisturizer so overall really love this moisturizer i would highly recommend it 
I am someone that has combination skin that tends to be a bit on the drier side in the winter months. Um, and I would still recommend this. I think it's great. Um, I will be switching back to my Skin Fix moisturizer, my holy grail, the love of my life, um, for a winter moisturizer, especially in the evening uh, skincare routine. I just find that moisturizer does wonders to hydrate and moisturize my skin and keep it so throughout the night. Um, but I would recommend this to someone that's even uh, combination skin on the oilier end. Um, I think that this will work really well. I find that even for me before, I used to be a bit more afraid of going to a heavier moisturizer because I thought it would make me look greasy. You won't get that with this. Um, I think it, it might actually help and it'll, it'll really help with your makeup application making it last throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below or if there's any products you'd like me to uh, review next. And I will see you guys next time. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and see you next time.